Almost 24 hours after an explosion disrupted the New Year's celebration, our players are dealing the best they can, some returning to vices or burying themselves in work. In this episode, will they face the oddities that appear to be targeting them, or will they ignore them? Mm. All right, guys. When last we left, Tim, you were headed downtown. Kerrigan, I believe you were... I was finishing up the beat, and then I'm and going then to the Chief for some PTO. Alex, you were smoking a bowl with your buddy. Yep. And uh, you were hitting up gamblers with your card. Yep. All right. That's what's up. Let's get into this episode. We'll start with you, Tim. You get downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, anything specific you're doing downtown? No, I'm just walking around. Just walking around. Just kind of going for a walk. Enjoying the <laughs> weather a bit. Okay. My day off, so. Kinda. You Kinda. called out. I called out. Uh, go ahead and give me a notice roll. A notice roll. To see if you gave notice to your boss in time. <laughs> I called when the explosion happened. Uh, seven. Seven. Those both 60? No, it was a 60. Time. Oh. Well. <laughs> I'm six and a five. <laughs> <laughs> On fire with the dice today. Um. As you're walking, you get there and uh, you don't see anything, but your attention is drawn back to that Amtrak station. Just something about it, just as you're getting ready to pass it, your attention is just focused on it. You don't see the girl, you don't see the bird, but just something about it just kind of draws your attention. Is it open? Or is it, it is open. I'm going to walk in. Okay. You go walk in, train station, He's lightly gonna... man. There's a person at the ticket booth, one person there, you know, ready for if a train comes in to get the luggage. Uh, what do you do? I'm just going to look around a little bit. There's a lot of pictures and decorations on the wall about, you know, the historic train center and just about its origins. I'm going to read that. I'm going to go to each picture and really look at it and just read about everything and try to find out what I can find about, out about this place. Okay. Why is it drawing my attention so? I'd like you to give me a notice check. Another seven. Okay. You are four. <laughs> is it possible for you to roll those dice without one of them exploding? Yes, <laughs> yes, but not on a notice check. But no, man. <laughs> so I, I've been watching, and, and, he, and he, on other rolls, he has not rolled a six. <laughs> um, you're, you're reading through, and you're reading through, and about, you know, the, the people who were here and who built the railroad and coming through, and the families that kind of founded Flagstaff, and uh, something about one of the pictures catches your eye. It's taken, actually, over by the courthouse when it was first built and there's a group of people in front of it and one of the young girls in the picture you can swear is the spitting image of the girl you saw in the train station hmm. but that's really odd because this picture was taken about a hundred years ago hmm well, I'll, I'll ask one of the, the people working here if they know anything about this picture. Okay. Uh, they say that was, you know, just a picture of the people that were there when the courthouse was first erected. And hmm. Thank you for your time. I'm going to the courthouse. I'm going where that picture was taken. Okay. Is there a young man standing next to an older man with white hair that comes out? <laughs> 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 uh, no, but there is a car in the background. <laughs> Plates is out of time. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to the courthouse now. Okay, so you head up to the courthouse. It's just a couple blocks away. Is it on the map here? Yes, it is. Uh, Actually, you just follow San Francisco yep. Street up. It's just below the historic downtown sign. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Cool. I'm going to... Try to find where, 
the pic, try to get the exact location where the picture was set up and just kind of look and get a feel for the place. Okay. Um, I would like you to give me a spirit roll. Spirit roll. Five. You pretty sure you found the place, judging from you know just what you remember of the picture and where it was. It's kind of easy, you know. As you're standing there, could just be a cool breeze because you know it's January, and mm -hmm. but uh, you get a little bit of a chill standing there looking at the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Well, the. Uh... The courthouse would probably have some further details on that picture at the train station, so I'm going to go into the courthouse and see if I can get any information about it. Uh, you had said you'd grab some stuff. What what all did you grab when you left for your walk? Um, I got my cell phone, my keys. Uh, I have a a, a knife, uh, like a like a, a pocket knife. Okay. Um, you go through, and when you go into the courthouse, there's like you know the metal detector. Yeah, yeah. You go through. You put all your stuff in the thing, and you go through the metal detector. They're keeping the pocket knife. Yeah, you can't take that into the courthouse, but you can get it as you're leaving. You can, yeah, so of course. Um, but your keys and your uh, cell phone you can keep. Mm -hmm. Um, they do ask you to put the cell phone to a silent mode. Of course. So, um, you go in there and. Just looking for pictures on the wall, or well, uh, yeah, uh, kind of. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm I'm just I'm kind of just like looking for like a history type thing, okay. like, like like a library that would have uh, information on. Yeah. So what you would want to do actually for that, um, and so the courthouse, is either go um, if you look just to the west of Wheeler Park. That dark gray building is the Flagstaff Public Library, or you would want to go back down to campus and to the Klein Library. Mm -hmm. um, the courthouse wouldn't have much more than just more pictures with little historical blurbs. Well, I w well, I was kind of led here, so I'm gonna I'll, I'll look at those pictures okay. and uh... go ahead and give me an investigation. Investigation, you got it. Four. Four? Uh, nothing stands out. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, there's something here. I'm probably missing a piece of the puzzle. So I'm going to go look for those pieces. I'll head to the first, the, the closer library. Not the one on campus, the, the other one. Flagstaff Public? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> going to head down there. Uh, the quickest way is just right down Birch. Mm hmm Heads to it. Um, and on your way there, I'm going to see what everyone else is doing. So okay. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Anything else you're wanting to do than your basic beat? Well, once the beat's finished, I'm going to head back to the precinct and I'm basically going to do my own research as well based off of what I know. I'm going to search the interwebs for things, you know, with words like old gods, tentacles, electronics, key springer. Okay. Things like that. See see what comes up. <clears throat> I would like you to give me an investigation. Don't let me down. Nice. Nine. Nine. Um, there's not a lot, um, at least not that you would consider credible information. There's a lot of obvious interwebs fiction, a lot of, uh, historical fiction, you know, authors that wrote in the horror genre or other genres like that. Um, do you have safe search on? Do I? Okay, He's wondering maybe. how detailed your fan fiction gets. <laughs> oh, yes, safe search. <laughs> it's a police precinct. <laughs> safe search is on. Okay. Uh, you do, however, find one reference 
um, in your search for peace bringer. And it talks about a Daoloth's lens. Daoloth's lens. D A O L O T H. Daoloth, his lens. Okay, so then I'll move my search towards that and its affiliations. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me another investigation check. Ten. Ten. Um, Daoloth um, was a minor deity in the before the Common Era, who was also known as a peace bringer. Um, He wants the book, because he can edit this part out while we're speaking and nothing's going on. Uh, so he's known as a peace bringer. Uh, the lens is an artifact that lets you see the world as he sees it. And the last known location of this artifact? Known, it's not. It's just a, a rumor, a myth. Claim? Anything saying somebody might have an idea or claim uh, to have seen it? The closest thing you can find to, and it's not for instance the lens itself, but of a similar object, uh, which could just be known as something else, would be uh, the Hopi Reservation which is a little bit north of Flagstaff. All right. Maybe I'll see if one of the Hopi natives will talk to the white man for a little bit. But not until I go talk to Chief. I'll talk to Chief first, see if I can get some of that, use some of that PTO. Uh, so you go in, you speak with the Chief. Uh, what do you need the PTO for? I need a little R and R. It's after the explosion and and everything like that. It's it would be a good idea for me to just take a couple of days and and recollect my thoughts. I heard a lot of strange stories that night, and you know, I, I just I want to process it all and you know, take take a little R and R. Maybe go up to the reservation for a little bit. And just be back with, get back in tune, recenter myself, you know? Um, he's going to okay it, but he wants you to see the department shrink before you come back. I can do that. I'm going slightly mad. Um, I think I'm going to go de uh, back downtown. Okay. And uh, take a look in that space. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're going to go back to monsoons? Yeah. All right, so when you get there, it is all taped off. Do not enter police line. Uh, um. You don't see any police or government officials around. Is there any good Wi-Fi here? Mm -hmm. I can pull out my tablet. There's a few spots, but you'd have to like go to a store and get the password and probably pay for some, at least buy something in the store or diner. Uh, you could use your network if it's attached, if your tablet's attached to a network like Sprint or Verizon. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to try to investigate who, like, if the person is renting 
this space or if they own uh, I want to try and investigate who owns this space. Okay. Um, or when the last time this was listed and who the realtor was, that information would be nice to have. Too. Uh, so the Heritage Square area is a city-owned deal. Um, the restaurant stuff are rented. Okay. Um, a lot of it's funded by you can buy a brick and have like your name or someone's name, whoever it's dedicated to. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of those around there. Uh, the last ownership and some of the buildings there by Heritage Square are privately owned by the Babbitt family, which is a wealthy family there, well known. Uh, and monsoons would be a rented front. So okay. Okay. So were you gonna try and go in monsoons or? Um. I don't know. Because I am not stealthy at all. Um, it's just a D4 minus 2. Well, I'm a jack of all trades. So I get the full D4. Well, there you go. Uh, You're pretty stealthy for a well known <laughs> drunk then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I will. Uh, I will go in. Okay, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Four. Okay. <clears throat> you don't believe that anybody saw you? Um... Does it look any like significantly different from last night? Um, in the part where you're at, no, but you're not back in the kitchen. You're just like in the dining area. Okay. Um, and the explosion happened from the kitchen. Okay, I'll go back there. Okay. Actually, no, I'm gonna look, also I'm gonna look and see like, are there like any paintings or anything? Or like large pictures around? No. That maybe, okay. But since you are looking around, give me a notice check. Six. Six? Yep. Um, there are a few ash markings along the walls and ceilings like you would expect from a large explosion. Um, but it, you can't make them out. You don't know what they are, but there seems to be like someone was drawing something with their finger or writing something, but you can't make anything out of specifically. But it definitely looks like someone took their finger and was making marks in the ash. Uh, I will take some photographs of that. Okay. And head into the kitchen. Okay. Are there any unbroken bottles of liquor by any chance? Uh, yes. I think I'm going to uh, pull myself a glass. Okay. Now fuck it, I'm gonna take the bottle. I'll leave a twenty. <laughs> and now the kitchen. Okay. Is there an obvious source of the explosion in here? Give me an investigation. And do you have any kind of knowledges that could help in this? Uh, okay. 
Other than maybe a jack of all trades. Kind of a no. test, but no. Nothing specific. My knowledge has to do with tax law and general accounting principles. Thank you. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, I think I need new dice. Uh, there is. I'm going to pull up my metal dice. As a matter of fact, uh, you believe that it originated from the ground. Right. Be consistent with the gas exploding. Give me a notice check. Four. You, as you're looking at the grill, because um, that's where you are believing the uh, uh, explosion originated, you look and you're looking all around because it seems like in pretty good shape for the origin of an explosion. Um, and you notice at the, the feet of the grill, uh, about Three inches to the left, there's markings on the ground like the grill had been sitting three inches to the left for a long, long time. You know how you get those yeah, the rings. Yeah. yeah, you've got that about three inches to the left of where the feet currently are. Uh, is it easy to move? Uh, give me a strength. Oh, five. Five. Uh, with a little bit of effort, you could move it on your own. I mean, it wouldn't be overly hard, but it wouldn't be like simple either. Kamehameha. Okay. Um, take pictures of the, the fact that it was moved, those rings. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, you click the phone and flash goes off, taking the picture. In the light of the flash, you see what appears to be at least the shadow of a rat scurry from behind the stuff, from behind the grill. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, that makes what I was going to do next. Probably all the more necessary. Although, before I do that, now I'm going to uh, look for a knife. Of impressive size. Easily found. And uh, then I'm going to uh, turn the flashlight app on. Okay. The phone. And uh, up. like put the phone behind the grill. Okay. So that I can try to get a picture of the wall back there. Take a picture of the wall there. And then go to the others and do the same. Okay. Um, and then uh, I think I'm going to go out the back door. Is there a back door? Like, does yeah. the kitchen have a back door? Yeah, there is a back door that's going to lead out. Um, actually, you're gonna, the kitchen's going to lead out right by 12 and 13, the Old Town Creperie and Diablo Burger. There's a little walkway right there, alleyway type thing. Ooh. Is there an office? There are offices upstairs from that building, yes. Okay, I will go upstairs. Okay. Um, is anyone in there? No. Are they locked? Yes. 
Do you have the iPick app? <laughs> uh, hang on, let me let me find a YouTube video about this. <laughs> um, um, speaking of your phone, uh, give me a notice check as you're looking at the two pictures you put, took from when you had your phone angled behind. Because yeah. I'm just going to assume you went ahead and looked at the pictures. Yeah. Uh, four. Four. And for the other picture? Oh, wait. No, I should have exploded the other one. Six, and the other one actually was also six. Okay. Um, so in both of them, uh, it appears that there's maybe a two-foot diameter hole in the wall behind the grill. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I will put the knife in a dish tray. Okay. How then, respectful of you. And then uh, I'll leave out the back door. Okay. Um, okay. Alex? Um, well, I am kind of curious about what's going on down there after uh, the events of last night. So, uh, when we're going to get dinner, we're going to go, I'm going to go out the, that way. All right. So, you guys head out for a meal, you and your buddy. I'm going to also sit where I can see the, the monsoon. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of benches there in Heritage Square where you can just hang out. Uh, you can get a pita across the street, a pita pit if you want, just sit there. Yeah. Pull my uh, tablet out and uh, attempt to indiscreetly take photos of anyone hanging out over there. Indiscreetly? Yeah. Well, I've got a tablet out. I could be doing other things. I just happened to go switch to the photo app to take a picture. <laughs> and then back to what I was doing. You said indiscreetly. Yeah, I think you meant to say discreetly. Oh, did I? Yeah, because indiscreetly <laughs> okay. means you're making it obvious. Like, dude's hanging around, looking around, hey, it, say and you're walking real quick. You're like, well, Dude. okay, I say that because I'm probably going to fail on any kind of stealth roll. <laughs> 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 well, then you might want to make sure the volume's off so that they don't hear the shutter. What? That's the best part when they hear the shutter. And then they turn around and they look at you. Well, I think I'm I'm far enough away that they're not going to hear the shutter unless they're standing close. By. <laughs> then they'll look and go. <laughs> I'll be like, wait till you get to know that I actually tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I ran a website. And as my cover, I will be looking for... Uh, uh, I'll say a uh, two-bedroom apartment houses uh, for rent, I think. Okay. Oh. All right. So did you have a place in mind you wanted to go downtown? Um, somewhere that's open. Uh, uh, we'll go to uh, the latte for the train. Late for the train? <laughs> yes. That's what I said. The coffee house down there. All righty. It's right by where you were posted up with your car. Late for the train, latte. <laughs> There's only one T in there, but I'm sure that's the intention. What are you, French? All right, so you go to the coffee house, you get some scone. Yeah. And just kind of look around, like, see, like, you know, I, I, I drunk, drank a lot, don't remember much. See what the place actually, whether it fits what I remember or not. I mean, then curious. Give me a notice check. Seven. Seven? Uh, it's pretty much how you remember it. Uh, obviously not as much many people or fire yeah um, I, w I will ask like uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'll ask like the the employees what like what the what the rumors are. They just all say it's a gas explosion. Mm. Uh, it's what the news is reporting, so that's what everyone thinks happened. Oh, uh, cool. Wait, are they closing out uh, the other stores around here? Uh, monsoons, the other place inside that same building, and Maloney's are all closed for repairs, but everything else is still open. Oh, okay. I like Maloney's. It's too bad. Uh, yeah. yeah. You get to the library, I'd like you to make a notice check. Okay. I shall make a notice check. You hear that, guys? You hear that? They heard that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Ten. <laughs> Every wow. time. Every time. The most observant cook on the planet, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Your steak will never not be medium rare. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as you get there, you know, there's some people in the park there as you're passing it. You notice it quite a bit. Uh, you know, there's always people there. Uh, you do happen to see a uh, bird, the bird that was watching you. It's in one of the trees in Wheeler Park. And it's just kind of looking at you. I'm in the right place. I'm going to do the staring contest again and let it tell me where it wants to go. Both the raven. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. Um, so you guys kind of have your little steering contest. It doesn't let out a caw this time, but it does like take off. And uh, between Wheeler Park and the library, there's like a little rain ditch gutter thing. Mm -hmm. And there's like a walkway. And so there's like a long tunnel. Okay. Um, it's a very shallow tunnel. It's not like a large tunnel. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does look like the free hugs tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it flies down into there. I'm going down into there. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. See gonna... a rapey tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go into it. <laughs> <laughs> I will have my, my like have my hands near my knife. So. He's he's got a Swiss Army knife. He can MacGyver his way out of this. <laughs> or it can be he can be. Yeah, Let's I've been lucky happens. so far. Be quiet. Guess where the sun don't shine, champ, and guess where that Swiss Army knife's gonna end up. Yeah, but he's gonna see it before it comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. Is uh, that a double entendre? <laughs> maybe. Uh, so you head down there, and uh, it's very muddy um, this time of year. It's like. Because all the yeah. melt off goes there, and so like you're going ankle deep in sludge as you're walking in there, and you have to bend over. You can't stand straight up. Um, you go down there, and it's probably a thirty foot tunnel from one end to the other. I mean, you can see light out the other end, you know, over across the street. Um, but yeah, I walk through. You walk through. All right. You walk through to the other side, and you now have very muddy feet. Hmm. I'll kind of look back in the tunnel. And... Hmm. We're not so much worried about his feet as much as we are about his sphincter. Well, you can oh. obsess about his sphincter all you want. So that Don't was a, a, a tunnel I... that led from the, the... It was under the street. The, the park to the library? Uh, so, no, the tunnel itself, uh, the tunnel is, so in between the tunnel and the or the park and the library, so right there along the edge of the light that's Wheeler Park, okay. uh, right about where the library juts out mm -hmm. is where it starts, and it goes under Aspen Avenue and out by City Hall. Hmm. So you went basically... Across Aspen and you're over at City Hall now. Hmm. Okay, I'm supposed to be at City Hall. 
Mm. I'm going to look around and see if I find anything. Any clues, any anything. Okay, give me an investigation. Sure, that dice, it's not a notice roll. <laughs> they don't care. Oh, my goodness. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have half your luck when I'm a player in your game. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Ten. Ten. Um, you know, there's not really anything there at City Hall, but you do see the raven on top of the library. And once you see it, it just flies away. Okay, I'm going back to the library. I won't go through the tunnel this time. <laughs> okay. He's feeling a little less rapey. Uh, the library is closed. It is still New Year's Day. I'll kind of walk around and look and see if I can find something. Okay, give me an investigation roll. Nobody say anything. My dice don't know yet. Five. Um, yeah, the library is closed. Probably see more when it's open. Close the raven. <laughs> Well, it was a fun little excursion. I guess we'll get dinner. It, it is about dinner time, right? That's, uh, yeah, an early dinner, but yeah. Oh, he missed lunch. I missed lunch. Yeah, he did. So, yeah, I'll go get dinner. It fell on the floor. Yeah. Um, in fact, where I'm going to go to dinner is going to be, since my library is here, I will go to the Matternhorn Grill. What number is that? Uh, eight. eight. Okay. It's on the way back. Yeah, it's on the way back. Where were you going to eat again, Al? Uh, 19, the late for the train. That's right. You were at late for the train. All right, so uh, inside, like... So you went, you didn't see anything out of the ordinary, but late for the train, it faces San Francisco. There's not any windows over to Heritage Square, so you would actually have to get out and walk over to Heritage Square. Okay. See anything there. Well, we'll probably, I'll, pro I'll walk by there just to see what, you know, the caution tape or whatever. Okay. You do see the caution tape around uh, monsoons. You do see uh, the gentleman that you saw last night his tablet, the guy that was trying to control the crowd. <laughs> a little less drunk. Maybe. We're not sure. He looks like he's in better shape than you were this morning. So. He looks like he didn't have as rough a day as you did. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Chief gave you the time off. I'm going up the Hopi. You're you're headed out of town. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the Hopi and see and Hopi I get some answers. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> I'm gonna take a cherry with me though and a radio. Do you do you have some connections up there? Or are you just gonna like draw to the res and hope for the best? It's a mix of both. <laughs> Mostly the latter. But... <laughs> yeah. All right. Um... Like I said, I'm going to hope that one of them was interested in talking to the white man for a minute with an interesting question. And then find some elder Navajo or Hopi tribesman who's just like, let me drop some wisdom on you real quick, bro. And then you get off my reservation and back to my casino. And I'm like, all right, dude, just drop your wisdom. And here's a 20. Go buy some <laughs> fire water. <laughs> wow. Here again. How many racial remarks and gay references can I make in an episode? Go! <laughs> no, you're starting now <laughs> <laughs> yes the rest the rest of this episode has just been a warm-up for him exactly uh 
Yeah, no, I'm going up. I'm going up north to the reservation. Okay, see if somebody. That's wants. gonna take you a couple hours to get out there. I got time. All right. Uh, Dan and Alex, both of you, uh, being in Heritage Square, I need you to make spirit checks. <coughs> Nine. Eleven. Nine and eleven. No, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Um, so you both are just kind of looking around, just kind of watching everything. You've got your tablet up and uh, you kind of, you know, doing your thing, looking at apartments, taking pictures. And you go to take a picture and you look at it and in the picture you see the tendrils coming out of the pine cone again. Like you've caught it on film. Yes. You notice him taking a picture and then get visibly excited look on his face. I'll, like, look in the direction he was taking the picture. You see Charlie's. The Weatherford. Yeah. Charlie's is the bar that's in that hotel. I'll look and, like, see if there's anybody, like, walking in or out currently. No. no nothing that catches your eye. Hmm. All right. Um, walk up to him. I was gonna say, do I recognize? Well, yeah. Yeah, you would both recognize each other. Hey, man. Hey, you were uh, you were at the bar last night, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I was. So, uh, see anything interesting today? You know, what happened or whatever last night? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah? No, yeah? <laughs> did you lose any time? I mean, lose time. Like, all of a sudden, your awareness jumped. And you don't know what happened. Oh. Yeah, man, that's kind of deep, but uh, I can know what you're talking about. Kind of deep, man. You had the Pineapple Express, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I trust you to duck that as a medical expense. Um, yeah. Yeah, there was this uh, like hiking accident a couple years ago. You know, like, my leg kind of hurts a lot, so I got to, you know, lessen the pain. He accidentally took the wrong shrooms and fell down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will go to the, to the picture. Okay. And the tentacles are still there? Yep. Last night, I saw this. Do I see the tentacles? You do. Look up at the pine cone. Look down. Like, can I see that? Is this open in Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Is there a timestamp on it? You know, uh, there is a timestamp. You assume it's the picture he just took. Um, give me a smart roll. Yeah, you're pretty sure it's not faked, so. Whoa. I have to, like, keep looking back and forth from the tablet to the pine cone itself. Whoa.
Okay, you yeah. can cut this part out. Just hold up two for the blue and three for the red. Okay, don't worry about it right now. Okay, cut back in. You saw this last night too? Yeah. When? As it was built. Wow. You just been like sitting out here waiting for it to happen again? Uh, no. Uh, I took some care of some personal business this morning and uh on my way out on the bus I got this picture. Show you the picture of Give me a notice check. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he kind of shows you, and it's really shadowy. It needs to be cleaned up, but there's obviously someone going into monsoons. Ooh. So I decided to come back, and uh, well, there's a hole behind me. Stuff. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You went inside of there? Yeah. Isn't that like illegal? I mean, I mean not that I'm saying anything. But... Strictly speaking, uh, yeah, I probably broke something, some kind of law. Hmm. Okay. Well, he is currently hot. But it. Uh, don't worry. So what is that, like a rat hole? Or is that like an explosion? Or? No, it's a large hole. Because basically, I've got this arc of a hole on, in this picture. Yeah. And this what, arc of a hole. What you on the surmised other from your notice was that it's about a two foot diameter hole, and it is a carved one. It is not. From an explosion or a rat chewing, it is made. Yeah. That's weird. Look back at the shop. Did you just like walk in the front door? Basically, yeah. Look around, like look around very conspiratorially and <laughs> see if there's anybody uh, watching us. Give me a notice check. And Tim, you also give me a notice check. Okay. I got a four. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> uh, you don't think anyone is noticing you. Uh, you're about to bite in, take your first... You're eating your food, you're taking some bite, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, out of the corner of your eye, you can swear you see a couple of rats scurry across the floor. Go back to eat. Okay. <laughs> Let me give you my card. Uh, the business address and everything is defunct, but um, my number on there is correct. Oh, you don't know work there anymore? No. Um No, I had to I had to sell my practice. But um if you think of anything Wait. You said you hurt your leg hiking? Yeah. Did you did you do any caving? Well, you know, like We've gone into the uh, Grand Canyon caverns, but they don't really let you climb around a whole bunch. And then there's that lava tube west of here a ways. We've been in there. Why are you thinking about going in that hole? I'm thinking somebody should. Look at my friend and be like... But not, not right now. Um... I think we need to get in touch with the police officer who was at the event. He seemed to react when I mentioned that uh, 
I had lost time and that I saw things. I don't know, like, you tell a cop that you've been, like, breaking and entering, that might not be good. Maybe. But if we approach it correctly, uh, he'll look the other way. Oh. Yeah, like, a lot of the cops around here are pretty good. Well, you know. And technically, I didn't break. I just entered. Oh. It was so it's only illegal got... entry. It's not breaking and entering. No, it's, it's... At most, I'm, I'm trespassing. On a crime scene. It's just an active one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as much stuff as that's been happening to sweep this under the rug, I think I'm safe. <laughs> I don't know anything, man. Well, about you. No, you might be. You won't be. You won't rug. make it into the news, but you might find yourself under that same rug, <laughs> or rolled up in it. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, after eating, I'm actually going to swing by the explosion place. Okay. Uh, Just because so I'm here. Oh, you head down there, and all three of you give me a notice check. I love it. How I'm Is there like even any point in me rolling just keep hanging yes. out downtown? Yes, like. eventually you will. It <laughs> won't be now, but eventually. Seven. <gasps> Do it again. Eight. Oh, oh you got beat. <laughs> yep. I only got a four. I got a um, seven. So you don't recognize him, but you two recognize each other. You recognize him as one of the guys that got knocked down by yeah. the blast. You recognize him as the guy that was trying to corral everybody and help manage the crowd. And you went the other way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk up. Uh, hey, friends. Uh, hello. How you doing? Doing quite all right. Not exploded or anything. I'm going to try and like look and see if he's got like any nicks or uh, pulsating aliens. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brain slug. A medical check. That's a fat minus, too. No, he's a jack of all trades. Oh. He can just pretend he has skills and whatever crap. He's the bard. Yep. I am the bard. Uh, three. No, he he looks good. So, uh, did you see anything strange? Oh, I've seen uh, quite a bit. Man, this is it's like everybody's seen something. Everybody has. Are you high, student? It's medicinal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have a card for it here somewhere. Whatever. Yeah, actually, with your role, you would have recognized him from camp, not <laughs> yeah. from the night before. <laughs> yeah. You really need to lay off that stuff. And please don't smoke it and then come to the cafeteria again. Trying to clean up that mess was a pain in the butt. Look, look. It wasn't my fault. She had to hold her nose so hard that she dropped her tray of food. Yeah, yeah. So what did you guys see? Big effing crow. What? I saw a big crow. And also I saw some like a little girl that was in the train station that night. The train station down the street a little ways. She looked like that? Does she? The, the one from the bus? So which one? The one that I took on the bus. On the way out of town, the one that seems to be cleaned up. Uh, you give me a notice check. I should just give it to him, but. <laughs> oh! Not a six. I got a three. Uh, you. It's a picture of monsoons taped off. You can't even tell. I'm sorry, I can't really tell from that. Okay. It was a 12, 13-year-old girl 
blonde hair? Is it blonde yeah. hair? Yeah, blonde hair. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently, there's a, actually, I went to the train station this morning and I went and found a picture of her at the train station, but from a hundred years ago, in front of the court building. Also, I lost time that night. It was really weird. Uh, as did I. Um, I'm assuming Mr. Smoker over here as well, since you're talking to him and in front of the crime scene. Yep. All part of some great event. I, I, I will say that uh, if I didn't get this picture, pull out my tablet. <laughs> Huh. Uh, I would be inclined to say that your experience at the train station was simply a hallucination and that you've seen her in that picture before and that your brain just filled it in. But uh, I'm thinking that there might be something there. I was thinking so too. And as our investigators have now all met, we will continue this next week when they finally do something. <laughs> when they finally do something.